everyone! In this video, I'm going to be talking about the fragrances that men find the most attractive on women. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ashley. I moved to Paris five years ago to pursue my dream of becoming a perfumer. I got my Master's of Science in Scent Design and Creation, and I now work as an apprentice perfumer for one of the largest fragrance houses in the world. If you like unbiased and informed fragrance reviews, or or if you just like a little bit of insider information on how fragrances are made and how they work, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So, man killer fragrances. Those fragrances that make guys go gaga. I have five of them for you here. Actually six, because one of the fragrances is tied for my number two spot. Um, but yeah, these fragrances get a lot of compliments from men specifically. I don't think a fragrance is going to be the thing that makes a guy fall in love with you, but it's always, you know, a little extra boost on top of a good outfit and an even better personality. First on my list is Narciso Rodriguez for her. This here, I think, is a great fragrance if for every day. For every day, signature, but also if you want to have your everyday fragrance just be incredibly sexy. For whatever reason, guys do tend to go crazy for this scent, and it's a fragrance that's also very understated. It has good performance, it has great projection and longevity, but it's not too showy or attention catchy. It's not at all sweet. This fragrance is really a floral musk, so it's going to be a your skin but better scent. Um, it's very easygoing, easy to wear, um, and so if that fits your personality, it could just be a really good match, and it just smells really, really sexy. My next pick is By the Fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela. I absolutely love this fragrance. One of my best friends wears it, and again, I almost never ask people what they're wearing, but I had to ask her what she was wearing before we were best friends, and it just smelled intoxicating on her, and I'm always impressed when I meet someone in like a very social occasion, and I can, one, pick out their fragrance as smelling different from other people and to actually smell it because there's like a lot of different smells at a party right there's like alcohol there's food there's all these random perfumes and cologne but hers came through so distinctively and so beautifully and when i asked what she was wearing it was by the fireplace by Maison margella i knew the fragrance before i had smelled it on paper but and I liked it on paper, but not enough to purchase it, and I never smelled it on skin or on someone else, and it was amazing. And she told me she gets compliments all the time on it, um, and I completely understand why. It has really high ratings on Fragrantica as well. Um, this fragrance is chestnut, guyacwood, and vanilla, so it's something that's going to be very cozy, very seductive with that vanilla. Guyacwood is woody, of course, but it also has a raspberry note that keeps this fragrance really nice and entertaining, not just like a super cloying vanilla. The chestnut gives some depth, and if that raspberry note I'm talking about is giving you pause, it's a very natural smelling, slightly raspberry fast. I definitely don't think candy or anything too... Um, tutti fruity or juvenile. The number three slot, we have Love by Killian. I have loved this fragrance for years. This is an incredible fragrance. Um, there's lots of notes like neroli, orange, flower, vanilla, but first and foremost, this fragrance is a marshmallow. It is a delicious, elegant, floral marshmallow. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily something that you think of until you think marshmallow and are smelling the fragrance. So again, I don't think it's super adolescent or juvenile. I think this is definitely a refined fragrance for a refined woman, but it is incredibly sexy. It's sweet and delicious. That wears beautifully. The projection and the longevity on this are insane. And I think that is super important if you do kind of want to seduce with scent, is people have to smell you. You can't be wearing something with low longevity and projection because you're just not going to get smelled and no one can tell you that you smell so sexy if they can't smell you. That being said, I'm going to throw another fragrance in here that's not part of my top five six. 
um, just talking about Love by Killian. If you do want a fragrance, let's say you already have a partner and he gets very close to you and whatnot, I really recommend Yes, I Am Glorious by Cacharelle. This fragrance didn't make, you know, this top list just because it wears very close to skin. It has good longevity, but it doesn't have projection, but it smells super sexy. I know my boyfriend loves it. You'll smell like a peach milkshake in the most refined way. And uh, yeah, not on the list, but just a little tip. At number two, we have a tie here. But the reason I decided not to choose or give them separate places is because one, I love these pretty much equally and I wear them layered a lot of the time. They're both completely seductive on their own. Both of them are well-known man killer perfumes and these two fragrances are both by Maison Francis Kirk John and um, it's Baccarat Rouge 540 and Oud Satin Mood and I wear the Eau de Parfum version of both of these and I love it. Um, the X-rays, yes, it goes deeper into both of them, especially for the Oud Satin Mood. I find the X-ray to be a bit more unisex and the Eau de Parfum just a bit more feminine and so I like to wear that version um, and then so yes I mix it with Baccarat Rouge 540 and the combination is absolutely killer so with the Baccarat Rouge 540 we have ambergris we have also just like some amber notes we have saffron and we have cedar None of that really on its own sounds super sexy, but it also has this thread of sweetness running through it. And so it's just this really glowy, woody, sweet scent. And it's incredible. The projection is also insane. You'll have this beautiful kind of abstract aura of fragrance. And the fragrance that I layer it with, Oud Satin Mood, is just an oud rose in the most delicious manner because again it is a sweeter fragrance there's some kind of vanilla sweetness running through it and together you just have something that's floral with the rose deep and mysterious with the wood wood <laughs> and then again just like the sexiness of the baccarat rouge kind of marrying it all together with all its ambery goodness it's heaven if you have both of these fragrances highly recommend that you layer them this was a suggestion actually given to me from one of my followers on instagram and it really was a game changer i love this fragrance layer and number one on my seductive man killer fragrance list is la belle eau de parfum now this also comes in an extra concentration that i also love but i do also just really love the edp and it's my go-to so this fragrance is pear florals and vanilla Sounds a little boring, sounds a little basic. For me, what I really smell is yes, those notes and also just like a caramel that is so delicious and so enticing. Every time I put on this fragrance, my boyfriend is wanting to smell me. I mean like of all my fragrances and I mean, I'm a reviewer, so I have a lot of fragrances. I work on this industry. I'm wearing different fragrances all the time. This is the fragrance that always gets him. This fragrance is beautiful. It's not as expensive as some of my other picks as well. Um, some of those other fragrances were over $200. You can find a bottle of this for under $100. Um, and just a great fragrance. Perfect for a signature scent, works day to night. A type of fragrance that if I spray it on and go to sleep, I still smell it the next day. One of those perfect fragrances, so seductive, so enticing, so likable, and yet there's not so many things on the market like it. And so I feel like that's what makes it so great for a signature and to have as this amazing, sexy, seductive, kind of cuddly, cozy scent as well. Maybe not cozy, definitely something you want to cuddle, but I think it also has a certain confidence to it as well. So let me know what's your scent to seduce, what's your man killer scent, and I'll chat with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.